Hey everybody, I wanted to talk with you a little bit today about the power of prayer. Um, this is something that um, my husband and I both, we both pray. Um, we don't necessarily pray together a lot. Um, if we are praying together, it's usually pretty simple prayers, um, but him and I have a very personal uh, prayer life in a sense, and, and we both pray very, very differently. <laughs> so. Um, but a lot of times when we are praying, we're praying individually. And uh, something like this actually happened um, July 3rd, actually. My husband and I um, had no idea either of us were going to be doing this. Um, but uh, my husband was out at a movie night with some friends. And then on the way home, I found out that he basically got down on his knees in our driveway and like head to the dirt was praying to God. And I didn't know this, um, that he had done this at all, but I guess when he was in the driveway praying, I was in our, in our camper, <laughs> I almost at our house, in our camper, um, sitting in our, sitting on our bed praying and it was head to the bed praying. Like I was just bowed down to God. And, um, both of us, there's a lot of things going on in our lives where we do have to start making some pretty big decisions. Um, so this is something that it's a time period in our life and with our homesteading and everything that we are definitely seeking out God very heavily right now because we know that these decisions um, need to be led by him and not by our own choices and so I thought it was really cool because um, I had no idea and my husband had no idea both of us were like head to the to the, wherever we were sitting <laughs> head to the ground basically praying and praying to God and um, and and just really listening to what he had to say to us. Um, so that happened on July 3rd. And then on July 5th, when we were actually coming back from um, an outing with some friends for the 4th of July, my husband gets a text from our neighbor. And if you've seen any of our videos, uh, previous videos that I have up, our neighbor has been an immense blessing to us. Um, and he has struck yet again <laughs> with his blessings. Um, he actually texted my husband and said, hey, I have a bunch of two by sixes uh, laying around in, in uh, piles around one of my sheds. Would you like them? And obviously, if you all know anything about lumber prices right now, lumber is insane. So my husband's pretty much like, yeah, absolutely, because we have nothing <laughs> in the way of lumber sitting around our property. Um, these are older two by sixes, um, but a lot of them are still in really, really, really good shape and um, definitely will be of huge use to us. Um, so he texted my husband about that. So my husband, when we got back, went over to his house to take a look at the two by sixes, um, because the, the gentleman, our neighbor was actually just going to burn them because he had no use for them whatsoever. They were from, an, I guess an old deck and, uh, he had no use for them. So he was just going to burn them. So he figured he'd ask us beforehand. Um, in this process, he also, um, gave us. Uh, several large, very large, like con giant pot planting containers filled with dirt and compost and everything else, um, which is fantastic because uh, some of my plants need to be up, up potted or uh, planted in a larger pot. So um, that worked out really nicely. And he also is giving us this giant chicken coop uh, that is movable. Uh, we just have to figure out how to get that over here as well as some chicken wire, some uh, like a little chicken wire gate kind of thing, um, jars for canning and everything else. Like He's basically going through some of his sheds and anything he doesn't want, he's just giving it to us. And um, of course my husband's like, hey, how much do you want for this? You know, you want, you want any money for it? And he's like, no, just take it. Um, now this man is obviously an incredible gentleman to begin with. Um, so. I don't, I don't think there's any prayer that we're doing that's changing this man's heart. I think this man's heart is already for other people and for helping other people. I think that was in place long, long, long before we ever stepped foot on this property. But what I found so cool about this is um, my husband and I have been wanting chickens, but we do not have the money for a chicken coop um, or to build a chicken coop right now. And this gentleman just provided us with a very nice large chicken coop that um, will sustain us for quite a while. Um, and then the wood, like we've talked about building a deck out in front of the camper and everything else, like all these things that my husband and I have been talking about that we want to build or do on the property, 
but we just there's other projects that take precedent and we also just don't really have the money to do all this kind of stuff right now um, God just provided for us through this gentleman yet again with through blessing and I just found it so beautiful that my husband and I um, both prayed the way we did and then two days later all these blessings started happening for us and um, like I said this gentleman's heart our neighbor's heart is always been, has been this way for longer than we've been on this property but I couldn't help but notice the timing and how God did that and how this time of prayer where my husband and I both individually felt so strongly about needing to pray and I'll be honest I've never even heard of my husband getting his head to the ground with prayer I've heard him being on his knees praying and thanking God and everything else but um, and we do talk about that kind of stuff so I've never heard him get that hardcore into his prayer um, but both him and I felt like doing that we did it on the same exact night and so I thought that was really cool um, in that sense that um, obviously God heard our prayers he answered them in a very big way and now there's things that we're going to be able to do on this property that quite frankly I didn't see us doing uh, really anytime soon and so it was just um, a really big moment for me to, sh to uh, that I wanted to share with you about the power of prayer it can be something small like a chicken coop <laughs> it can be something big like piles of lumber um, it, I mean it could be anything y'all but it's one of those things where if you don't pray and you don't ask for it and the answer is always going to be no so once you pray and once you start asking for things and thanking God because that's something both my husband and I did in this time of prayer is we not only did we ask God for the things that we need but we thanked him for all that we have because we know that we are incredibly blessed and so um, it was a time of thankfulness and a time for seeking help as well and so it was just a really beautiful moment I absolutely had to share that because um, it was just I, I couldn't help but see the fact that prayer was a very strong part of what just happened and um, it, it just made me really thankful for that time and for taking that those feelings of needing to pray and and stopping what we were doing and both of us stayed up very late that night actually and we're both praying for a rather long time individually but um, it's one of those things that take the time guys take the time to pray um, like I said it, if you don't pray to God and ask him for the things you need or even thank him for the things you already have especially with like asking the things you need um, the answer is always going to be no because you're not asking so you gotta ask and you gotta ask big um, and believe in God for the big things and believe in God for the little things and everything in between and thank him for every single one of those things I have been thanking him for the chicken wire I've been thanking him for the chicken coop I've been thanking him for all the things that we just put into the trailer today was an absolute miracle but y'all you just you gotta pray it's a wonderful way to communicate with God and um, the blessings that come from it are just absolutely incredible hope y'all have a great day bye